I don't want to be here. I had a f <laughs> I had a fucking heart attack. Jesus Christ. What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scaletree, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 4. In the last episode, we more or less wrapped up the overworld and did the last Dandori challenge of Serene Shores, which is extremely exciting because it means that hopefully, very, very soon, we'll be able to move on to Hero's Hideaway, where supposedly Olimar is hiding away for us to find. Whew. But in this episode, we've got one more cave to finish, the Below Grade Discotheque. And before we get in, I have another early question of the day, similar to Sub-Zero Sauna, because the theming, at least the name theme of this cave, gave me inspiration. What is your favorite genre of music? I personally don't really have a favorite genre. I kind of pick and choose songs I like and put them into one massive eclectic playlist. <laughs> but... I do find I'm a lot more likely to enjoy a piece of music if it has lots of percussion or just very prominent percussion, even if it's like just one kind of drum or twang or something. I, I need that kind of feeling. It unleashes something primal in me, makes me really want to dance. <laughs> anyway, speaking of dancing, let's dance our way down into the discotheque. Hmm. Looks like we're being suggested to bring just reds and yellows. And if my theory is correct, that means that the last wild type of Pikmin in there is probably going to be wings. This does make me a little wor worried, though, I must admit, because if that's true, and the boss that I think is in here is in here, then... <laughs> Uh, all of my Pikmin can be stomped to death. But then again, now I know rocks can also get stomped to death, so who am I to judge? Let's just get to it! Onward, gentlemen! Man, I feel like it's been so long since I've used reds and yellows. This is nice. It's gonna be a good change from having blues and ice Pikmin doing, like, all of the heavy lifting. You know what I mean? It's been like that for several caves and such now, so... It's high time, I think. Ooh, okay. Got hanging treasure there. Oh, 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 oh! Ah! No, 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 no. You think you can rush us? Joke's on you, Buster Brown! <laughs> You know, that thing gave me a lot of trouble in the first area because I didn't know it would charge and I lost <laughs> several Pikmin to it. That's okay though, you know, live and learn. Now I know that the trick to getting rid of these is to get the jump on them first. Also, you guys are right. The impact damage from Rush should not be underestimated. All right, everybody. Yellow Pikmin, I think you can take care of that. Is there anything up high here that I need to... Ah, of course. Ah, it's so nice to have yellow and red Pikmin. I know I just said this, but <laughs> I do mean it. It's nice seeing my babies. Yellow Pikmin have been my favorite for a really long time, so it's good to see them getting some actual use. Huh. Okay. Also, this is an oddly quiet so <gasps> Oh, man. I got so excited for a second. I thought those would be, like, planted winged Pikmin. I think they're just red. Oh, well. It's okay. Hmm. What a day. I hope you guys are having a good day so far. 
I'm really excited and also kind of nervous about my upcoming vacation. I'm just generally a nervous traveler. It takes an hour and a half to get to the airport from where I live, and I'm doing a late flight, so I'm gonna get in at what would be one in the morning in my time zone. And, uh, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I am such a morning person, so I'm gonna try to catch some Z's on the flight, but hopefully I'm not a complete and utter grumpus <laughs> when I get to the next area. And also, <gasps> yay, honey wisps. Oh, well, I was expecting honey, <laughs> but I'll take a spicy too. Sure, why not? All right, we got this floor finished. Looks like, according to the top of the screen, this is going to be another five-floor cave. Works for me. Let's get to this. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm kind of a nervous traveler. I'm returning to my home state of California, which is <laughs> honestly where a lot of people live. I think even if you take it out of the context of being in the United States, it's one of the most populous places on Earth. <laughs> so, that's pretty wild. Okay, I know I don't have the shock thing, so I need to use... Oh. Alright. Well, I need to resummon all my red Pikmin, but that's fine. <laughs> this is fine. Everything is fine. I don't have the shock collar for Ochi. So, I need to have Yellow Pikmin take care of this one. I will work on getting him his resistances. I'm just... Also someone who kind of likes having the challenge of having Ochi have some weaknesses. Though I know it's gonna make things a little bit tougher for me. I don't know. I think I said in a previous episode, I'm a big fan of doing challenge runs when it's not, you know... <laughs> a completely blind playthrough of something. Nuzlocks are basically the only way I play Pokemon ever now. <laughs> Much to some of my friends' despair. They're just like, you know, oh, hey, Scale Tree, you should join us for a nice casual playthrough. And I'm just like, casual Pokemon is no longer in my vocabulary. <laughs> Though obviously, you know, for any of my fellow Pokemon fans in the comments, you are more than welcome to play Pokemon however you like. But I just really like Nuzlocke's, you know? I like that they make me, that they force me to use Pokemon that I normally wouldn't. Ooh. Hmm. I'll worry about that in a second. Let's see here. Got some of these little buggos. What do those things do, anyway? I'm not totally sure. I'll probably find out if I do a Piclopedia and chill stream, which I still think I want to. I might make that a priority when I return from vacation. I feel like every... I don't know. Every ten episodes or so, I might do something like that. It'll be a nice way to say hi to my fans and chat about some stuff. Just enjoy something really casual. Right now, I'm still kind of learning how to best <laughs> balance simply commentating and recording at the same time, so doing something a bit chiller like that before I do something a little more extreme seems like a nice way to balance things until I think I'm more comfortable streaming while I'm doing active, you know, MLG <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> All right. This level's going pretty well. Come, Ochi. Let us travel into the wild yonder and enjoy the ambience of that candle. Oh. That's so pretty. I'm really glad that I noticed the fact that that was a thing. <laughs> Ten. All right. Awesome. Where am I going? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, you know what? I guess that's fair. Um, I don't want to be here. I had a f <laughs> I had a fucking heart attack. Jesus Christ. Wait. Ah, 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 ah. All right. We have that one last treasure. Come on, lads. Bring it home. Is that everything? Okay. The treasure did... The, 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 the treasure did the dingy thingy-thing. <laughs> the treasure gauge ding a <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this cave is going a lot faster than I thought it would. You know what? I'm probably going to eat my words. This next sub-level is going to have uh, 30,000 enemies, including Bulborb larvae. And I'm just going to die. I'm going to lose all my Pikmin, and that will be game over, and I'll never get to tell Louie how much of a chad he was for punting my channel onto the map. <laughs> I need you guys to understand just how much that video impacted me. I took a screenshot of my sub growth count just before the Louie video would taper off. I had 13. 13. One, three subscribers. And that's crazy that I got over a thousand just from being a big old Louis simp. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Not quite a simp, perhaps an apologist. I just love him, you know? Woo! <gasps> yes! Oh! I need to get up there. I need to get up there so fast. Also, yes, uh, Colin, you are so right. This machinery does look pretty complex. I'm actually a little bit boggled looking at this floor. I'm not entirely sure what to do. I should be throwing yellow Pikmin. What am I doing? Yellow guys, you're the faster diggers. What are you doing, you slacker? <laughs> You're just enjoying the fact that I'm letting literally everybody work except you- Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Pikmin has a warp pipe system. Huh! And that one yellow <laughs> apparently doesn't want to come with me? Can- can the moving walkways be reversed? That's a very good question. Also, hello, Slacker Yellow. You know, I normally call you guys Sparkies, but for you in particular, you're Lazy Pete. Like Stinky Pete, but lazier. Hmm. Okay. So the moving walkways can change direction. Looks like I need to get up there to move something down, like a bag. No? Hmm. Inch resting. Time goes directional changes wisely. Huh. Sorry if I'm being a little bit quiet here. Huh. Puzzles like these were never my forte. I used to play... Wait, actually, can I jump while I rush? No. No, I cannot. What I can do... is throw some Pikmin, though. Although I don't know what throwing them up there helps me with. Can the fans... affect this, too? Uh oh. Can I ask Ochi to go here? No. This is so weird. What am I supposed to do? The moving walkways change direction, but how do I even get to them? Unless... Okay, okay, okay. Uh, idea. I actually have an idea this time. We're gonna... 
disband. We're gonna switch to Ochi. I'm gonna ultra spicy for no reason. Okay, excellent. Ochi. You know what? I'm gonna send my yellows over here. Ugh. What a waste. No, 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 no. I want to go alone. Now that I'm separated, we can divide and conquer. Okay. So right now, they get blown there. Hmm. And then back down here. Okay. Alright. So what I need to do... Change that. Move that this way. <gasps> yes. Yes. Okay. Alright. So I can do this. Did I do ten? No, I did seven. That's okay. Come on, Reds. We're gonna need you to do one more set. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> that is such a cool puzzle. I'm sorry for hemming and hawing over it for so long. Oh. That feels really great. I think I got just enough up there. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Now I think I can finally bring my babies back up here. Ochi? I'm gonna command you to gather up my Pikmin, please. While I try to figure out how to get everything else. Seven. All right. Reds, you've done such a good job. I'm gonna give you that little bit of boon, that little bit of leeway. So, the next question is how on earth do I get these winged Pikmin? Oh! Hey, boy! Hmm. Does jumping up here help? Whoa. <laughs> uh, maybe. Um, uh, hello? One, one, two, three? No, it's not quite what I'm looking for. You know, I have a weird idea. It's just crazy enough that it might work. And if it doesn't, then, you know, I get to look like a complete goober for the cup. <laughs> you know, that wasn't my idea, but I'm not going to complain about it. <laughs> um, I just got more reds this morning, so... I'm gonna send them in as a sacrifice. I didn't do the trick, it's okay. Hello! Hey! Winged Pikmin! And with this, I have every type of Pikmin as far as I know. Uh, you know, besides Baldman, obviously, but apparently they're not in the game, so whatever. They can fly? The variety of Pikmin types never ceases to amaze me. Let me look these up. The Winged Pikmin. As their name suggests, Winged Pikmin have sprouted wings and can fly. Of course, this means they can transport things by air and can save time that way. Their ground attacks are lackluster, but when it comes to aerial combat, they're unmatched. Kanyuko. Oh yeah. Huzzah! The sky is no longer out of our reach. We'll get much more exploring and rescuing done with the help of these Pikmin. Now, I did hear from one set of comments that, oh, you know, winged Pikmin are really nerfed in this game because their AI is super dumb. But I do want to at least try them, you know? I want to get to know my buddies. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Can I go here to this? Damn it. <laughs> I got so hopeful for a second. I was just like, yeah. Yeah. Let's 
Let's go. Come on. Launch me. Take me to the next floor. <sighs> Spyro trained me, I would say. But whether or not it trained me well is, uh, anyone's guess. <laughs> I have an awful lot of recording time left, actually. Okay. Bare minimum, I can at least do this last floor. Or, sorry, the second to last floor. I might even just go all the way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, ba, 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 ba. Ugh, honey wisp. Oh. Or, you know, it could disappear into the void. That, <laughs> that also checks out. Thank you for replacing the ultra spicy that I so grievously mishandled. Man, I couldn't even charge up my... <laughs> charge fast enough. Charge up my charge. Charge up my rush. I mean, technically it's a charge, but it, uh, you know, it's semantics. It's semantics, it's fine. Hmm. All right. Fiery blowhogs on a sizzling floor. And... Sprinklers that I'm going to need to turn on. So I imagine there must be some materials and a knob in this sub level. Pretty sure that's a. Oh, no, 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 no. Bubbles! Oh no. You might be a lost cause, buddy. Yeah, you're dead. Good night, sweet prince. At risk of sounding terrible, that was an objectively kind of funny way to die. He just looked so bored as he plunged into the afterlife. Oh! <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but that is super duper cool. Oh man. Come on, let's go explore up here. <gasps> More wings. Well, to keep things even in the grand scheme of things, and because I'm bad for losing a red. Let's not do the trick again. That's okay. The trick is kind of a time-saving thing, but apparently, even though I'm trying to get out somewhat faster episodes, apparently I don't need to save all that much time. This is going unbelievably smoothly. <laughs> Until stuff like that happens, in which case, no, it's not going smoothly at all. <laughs> uh, come on, little darlings. Let's try and figure out- ow. <laughs> that feel when your earphones just ruin your life. It's so relatable. More spicy. Do honey wisps not give honey anymore? You'd think they would. Or are they doing this for a reason? They're probably doing this for a reason. And my best guess is that the reason in question is because I'm going to need them for the boss. Assuming there is a boss. I'm convinced. I like this I am so on top of the idea that it's going to be Oh, no, 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 no. I actually want, I think, my winged Pikmin to take care of this. <sighs> if they'll charge. I want to see how their pathing AI goes. Hmm. Yeah, that's no different from ground Pikmin. A little bit of a bummer, but I think it could definitely be worse. Also, I realize I do actually have Ochi with the Scorch Guard. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I should get Ochi more resistances. Uh-oh, the Pikmin are having trouble. Hmm. That is true. The Pikmin are having trouble. 
But you know who won't have trouble? Ochi, going through his little doggy door. And me, switching to him properly using the D-pad. Oh ho ho, I feel so clever. I think I can throw some yellow Pikmin up here. Yes, I can! Well, uh, thank you, cutscene. Aw. Uh. Hello, hello! You did it! The fire's out! Guys, I love this game. <laughs> I love this game so much. I just love how beautiful it is, how fun it is. There's so much to enjoy here. Ugh. Absolutely blessed. And now that the iron fences are lowered, we can just... Charge everyone. Gather up the reds who disappeared. And get to taking out these blowhogs. Yeah, watching this, the winged Pikmin aren't really taking any shortcuts, which is very unusual. At least considering how they worked back in Pikmin 3. Awesome. Also, I couldn't help but notice that I've got Pikmin digging right here. What in the world is that? It's just a pink orb to ponder. Oh, to be a wizard. Pondering a wizardy orb. That's like a whole mood. <laughs> okay. I think that's everything? Once it comes back- Oh! Oh, it's not an orb. That's okay. It's a- th It's the four ball for... Pool. I don't recall there being a pink pool ball. Am I just losing it? I haven't played pool in literally many years, so... Oh well. Ugh. More platforming in my Pikmin game? <laughs> What a new and strange feeling. Okay, come on, guys. Ooh. Okay. At least there's no timing that I need to worry about. <laughs> okay, excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. This should be the final sub-level. And as much as I want to fight this boss, I want to establish that backlog, too. So I think... <gasps> With that visual, I'm going to end the episode. Oh my goodness, it is. It is. It's the Arachnorb. The Arachnorb that can... <gasps> this is gonna be so fun to fight. And I hope you guys look forward to it when my next episode comes out soon. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you around. Goodbye, everyone!